Hey everybody, welcome back to the Horizon's Edge channel. Profiles from the Titanic is the series where we're taking a look at all the people on board the Titanic and taking a look at their individual stories. Now today we're going back to officers and crew. We've done Captain Smith, we've profiled uh, Chief Officer Henry Wilde, and now you'd, well, you'd think that we're gonna go to First Officer William Murdoch. There's a lot about him, but that's not what we're gonna do today. Uh, today in the profile, we're actually gonna go to the other side of the officer list, and we're going to profile the most junior officer, and in fact, the only junior officer on board the Titanic to perish in the sinking. Today in the profile, sixth officer, James Moody. A uh, young officer who actually, because he was an officer helping to load lifeboats, could have gotten in a lifeboat, but did not. And so today, a very interesting story, again, tragic story, of a young man, an officer on board the Titanic, 6th Officer James Moody. Please hit the subscribe and the like button and uh, spread the word around. Again, just search Profiles from the Titanic to get all the videos that I've done here uh, for you all. And uh, I hope you enjoy this profile from the Titanic. James Moody was born in Scarborough, England in 1887. His family was well known as his father and grandfather had held positions of authority with the town. When James was only 11, his mother died, which affected him deeply. His father remarried and eventually had four more children. At age 14, in 1902, James was sent to the HMS Conway to train as a naval cadet, although a life at sea was not really his chosen profession. The two years spent on board counted as one year toward the Board of Trade Second Mate's Certification, which required four years before application could be made. In 1904, he signed on for a three-year stint aboard the Bodicea, a three-masted sailing ship. By 1907, he had received his second mate's certification. Over the next year, he served on oil tankers and steamers and made quite a few runs to South America. In 1909, he received his first mate's certification, and after serving aboard several other ships in 1911, he was awarded his master's certification. At age 23, James Moody was a master mariner. That year, in 1911, Moody joined the White Star Line, serving aboard the Oceanic. It was on this ship that he also served with future Titanic officers Charles Lightoller and Herbert Pittman. In March of 1912, Moody received word that he was to be appointed as the sixth officer of the newest, most luxurious ship in the world, the RMS Titanic. Although he complained that his quarters were no bigger than a broom closet, he was responsible for two four-hour watches each day. He helped with the sea trials in Belfast and then sailed for Southampton, arriving there on April 4th. One story to note about sixth officer Moody occurred when the Titanic was leaving Southampton for Cherbourg on its maiden voyage. A group of stokers and trimmers who had been enjoying themselves at a nearby pub arrived too late to board. Moody closed the aft gangway door on them and ironically in so doing saved their lives by denying them passage on board the ship. On the fateful Sunday night, Moody was on duty on the bridge and was told by 2nd Officer Lightoller to notify the lookouts in the crow's nest to be on the lookout for small icebergs and any flat ice called growlers. At 11.40 p.m., three bells rang out from the crow's nest. The phone rang in the wheelhouse, and it was Moody who answered it. Lookout Frederick Fleet yelled out, Iceberg right ahead. Moody repeated the words to 1st Officer William Murdoch, who was the senior officer on the watch at the time. After the damage assessment was done and the seriousness of the situation was evaluated, Moody was instructed to begin preparing the boats on the port side of the ship. For the next two hours, he helped load lifeboats on the port side and then eventually on the starboard side. While he was working with 5th Officer Lowe between boats 14 and 16, Officer Lowe recounted that he wanted to see an officer go with each lifeboat. He asked Moody whether he or Moody would go on the next boat. He said that Moody replied, you go, I'll go on the next one. There's a lot of confusion as to where Moody ended up as the Titanic sank, but according to two eyewitnesses, he was last seen helping with collapsible A as it was washed off the deck at 2.15 a.m., just five minutes before the Titanic was engulfed by the ocean. Sixth Officer James Moody was lost. His body was never found. 
It seems that although Moody as a junior officer could have boarded a lifeboat and taken charge of it, he chose not to. He rather stayed on board, helping to save the lives of countless others that otherwise would have been lost. Sixth Officer Moody was the only junior officer to die aboard the Titanic. He was just 24 years old. Thanks for watching Profiles from the Titanic.